Are squeaky doors and stuck windows driving you up the wall? Well, it doesn't have to be this way. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks to solve these problems for good. For a lot of the things I'm gonna show you in this video, I'm gonna be using this WD-40 Specialist Silicone Spray. Now, they are not sponsoring this video. However, I have been finding myself spraying this on pretty much anything that moves and makes noise in my house. I said almost everything. One of the big differences with this WD-40 compared to the standard WD-40 or other lubricants is you can use this on plastics and vinyls as well. So if you have problem areas that aren't metal based, this is a really good solution. And unlike using other products like white lithium grease to lubricate your garage door, this is not going to attract dust and dirt over time, which means you can lubricate your moving parts and they won't get dirty. Door hinges can be really noisy, but fortunately, these are probably the easiest things to fix when it comes to noise. Just be sure to spray the entire hinge, and again, open and close the door a few times to make sure everything is coated and the noise should disappear. Much better. Door locks won't squeak, but they can be hard to use if they don't have any lubricant inside of them. So you can do the same thing with this. You can either use a lubricant spray like a silicone spray that I have here, or you can use another dry type of lubricant like a graphite powder in order to lubricate the lock so that way it moves freely and it doesn't stick. Same thing with door handles. They probably won't squeak, but you should lubricate these as well, especially if they're sticking. Now with door handles, you're probably gonna have to take them apart in order to spray the components inside and make sure everything is lubricated. The trickiest part of these can sometimes be getting the door handle off and also the surround that covers the screws. But once you remove these parts, it should be easy to access everything else and make sure everything is coated. And once again, make sure you move the handle back and forth a few times to make sure all the lubricant is coating all the different parts. For garage doors, you wanna be sure to treat the rollers first and foremost. Now with these rollers, they're probably gonna be dirty, so you wanna be sure to clean them up as much as possible before treating them with any lubricant. Make sure to lubricate the bearing inside the roller as well as the roller itself that's inserted into the track. Also, don't forget to lubricate the stem that inserts into the door hinge because this can be a source of noise too. Sometimes the hinge will have a port on top of where the stem is inserted, which will let you lubricate the entire stem more easily. Since the silicone spray I'm using is a clear lubricant, you can also use it to spray any areas where metal may rub up against other pieces of metal, like the panels, hinges, pins, and torsion shaft. You should also lubricate where the cable is attached to the bottom of the door. This can be a source of noise as well. Vinyl windows can stick or be difficult to open, and they can also squeak a lot too. So this is one of those areas where the WD-40 silicone spray really shines because you can spray this directly on the vinyl tracks and not worry about anything gumming up over time or, like I said, attracting any kind of dirt and debris that will cause problems later on. Once you've treated the window, make sure you raise and lower the window up and down a few times to ensure everything is fully coated. You can do the same thing with vinyl doors too. Just be sure to treat the entire track and open and close the door a few times to make sure everything is coated and that should take care of your problem. If you have a pocket door that's hard to open or squeaks, then you can lubricate the top rollers that hold the door in place. It's best if you have some lubricant that has a straw so you can reach back into the track and spray the rollers directly. Now you won't be able to reach the back rollers this way, but if you spray enough lubricant in the track, it's probably gonna do a good job of lubricating the rear rollers. If not, you're gonna have to remove the door in order to reach those and lubricate everything. You should also move the door back and forth a few times to make sure everything gets coated with the lubricant. The silicone spray has some uncommon uses too. In fact, we inherited an old air hockey table that lost the slickness to the top. All we had to do was spray it down with some silicone spray, let it dry a little bit, and it started working like new again. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and also be sure to check out this other video next. I'm sure you'll find it helpful too. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.